The mayor-elect of South Fulton has taken a bold and unprecedented step to address dilapidated housing. Instead of demolishing a troubled complex, mayor-elect Khalid Kamau moved in. It is a campaign promise he plans to keep. The mayor-elect in the city of South Fulton is actually moving into an apartment complex that is dilapidated and dangerous. It was moving day for South Fulton mayor-elect. He decided to get a first-hand account of just how difficult and dangerous Camelot condominiums are on Old National Highway by becoming a paying resident. I, I come from the Movement for Black Lives. We were students of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee. We believe in living in communities that we are organizing. The South Fulton mayor-elect admits he initially thought of demolishing the complex and rebuilding. A couple of really concerned residents said, you know, I love my house. I don't want to lose it. I don't think my building is that bad. You should really see all of the buildings before you render final judgments. The mayor-elect took them up on the offer. He will pay $800 a month for his one-bedroom apartment. He says the goal is to get the community engaged in improving all parts of the new city. One, I hope that it brings attention to the plight of residents in Camelot. I hope that it brings some development dollars. Camelot was home to a lot of celebrities and uh, people who have moved up and out. And we're, we're asking them to come back and reinvest in uh, their hometown. The person that's responsible for the Migos and Lil Baby and City Girl. a mayor that says, I'm, I'm with you, I support you. I want to come and see what it's like to be in camp. I want to find out firsthand what the issues are, and I'm willing to live there. attitude of gratitude we all say thank you now God as he come to fulfill a promise here at Camelot first thing we ask you to do oh God is just put your power of protection around Camelot your anointing in Camelot because it's a new day and new things are gonna work and gonna happen but we release the power of the Holy Spirit on these grounds that changes are going to begin to happen in the lives of everyone who not just live here, oh God, but drive in and walk in. That's the anointing of the Lord. And we claim it, we speak, and it is so. so today I'm going to sign a one-year lease. Oh, wow. And um, I'm going to I'm gonna move in here, and I'm going to live here, and I'm going to do everything I can to help clean up the community. I've already started introducing myself to some of the neighbors. Yeah, I feel like just for him to come in this type of neighborhood, you know what I mean? I feel like something got to something gonna have to change. I hope that he, you feel me, keeps the area kind of clean and stuff like that. Get rid of the rodents, the rats, you know what I'm saying? Because you know, that's what we're dealing with, you know? So he's going to go through all that we going through, you know? So, yeah, we're going to see a lot of it. He's going to see, he's going to experience, he's going to hear them crawling, scratching them all, so, you know. And, and I think it's so powerful to see that our mayor will keep his promise. And that means something. But that's the way God is. When God makes you a promise, you can already know that it's already fulfilled. 